pleasant good morning to you. Bored again? You bored again? Watch. <laughs> Let me share a text with you before I talk to you. Uh, Proverbs 18 and verse 9 says, He also that is slothful in his work is brother to him that is a great waster. Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 9. Now, if you ask me if I am bored, hardly, hardly, right? Uh, you want to know why? Well, listen, in my life, not since I get old, you know, when I'm much younger years ago, I always have something I want to try out, and it is not something sinful. Yeah, I always have something I want to try out. I want to chip some piece of wood. I want to make a roller. I want to make something, some boat, something. I always want to try something. And then sometimes I vex when sun down. Right? That's when I was a boy because night time. I didn't grow up with electricity is. So I can't get to continue what I'm doing. Uh, listen, why are you bored? I'm giving you some questions to ask yourself. Are the people who are in your age range bored also? How bored are you? What do you do on a daily basis? And then, is it that you're bored because your device failed and you can no longer be in touch with the thousands of individuals on social media and interact with them? Well, if that happens to me, I still will not be bored. So let me, let me help you to understand how not to be bored. Uh, first of all, go to bed early. Sounds funny, go to bed early. Just last night I was listening to a psychologist and he pointed out that a lot of people keep saying that they are not morning persons. And he said, you know why they're not morning persons? Because they go to bed late. If they change up when they go to bed, they end up being very creative in the morning. So go to bed early. Then ask God to help you uh, to get up early. And then every morning, you must have a connection with God. Don't get up slow, slow, lazy, lazy. No, early to bed, early to rise, make a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. Don't get up lazy, lazy. Uh, then too, it is very good, a very good practice to be on a daily exercise program. When you're on a daily exercise program, your body functions at maximum. Uh, then, uh, in spite of what you do as a job, listen, you must have something else you like doing that will take your mind off of the stress and worry of the day. Then further, uh, if you work, you must not only work to pay bills, you must find something else to do that will assist some less fortunate individual. Not necessarily just giving them money, you know. No, not necessarily that. No, find things to do, advice, counsel, uh, some child in your street or some child in the neighborhood or some teenager who uh, has lost a father, who is an orphan, who you can attach yourself, you know, be friendly with and help to guide them. Yes, uh, you see, uh, when once you are involved in a daily basis of doing things that please God and also helping at least one person during the day, then it's difficult for your life to be a boring one. Let me read back the text. The text says uh, in Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 9, He also that is slothful in his work is brother to him that is a great waster. Don't be a great waster. By the way, many individuals, uh, social media and electronic devices cause their life to be boring. Why? Because they are always uh, depending on these devices to spike up their life. I don't do that. By the way, I'm not saying you mustn't look at no sure. So no, I'm not saying that. But you see, after a while, if you're just accustomed to these devices uh, pleasuring you, when there's nothing pleasurable on them, then you're bored. Further, these same devices 
Uh, that's the Open Wall University. Uh, they can teach you, they, can, they have tutorials uh, to assist you in uh, being better in some area. So explore it. You don't have to live a boring life. Uh, so today, remember, remember uh, that God doesn't want you to waste time away and get in the habit of going to bed earlier, getting up earlier, and you will be more productive and less boring during the day. Our God and Father, thank you so much for your goodness towards us. Some young person is thinking that they must always depend upon the device or somebody else to make the life happy. Let them know that when they timetable and plan their life properly, they will end up not being bored. Guide us throughout the day, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. May God richly bless you. Oh